Hello and welcome. This tutorial will cover how to basically uh, export a model from Blend to to Star Wars Jedi Knight Jedi Academy. Well, uh, for this tutorial, I'll be using uh, Blender. Uh, is uh, the version is not important, but our version is two point seven six. Uh, we also be using this little friend here, which is our add-on, which basically tells uh, Blender that uh, how to how to export the model to so that Jedi Academy can see it. And of course, we're going to be using our friend Radiant. Uh, my version is one point five. So let's begin real quick. Uh, I will provide a link to in the description below to download the. The exporter it's by Simbi. I don't remember where do I find it, but uh, where did I find it? But it's, thanks to the author, I don't know. We'll go. Uh, so let's first of all uh, let's uh, let's import the add-on. Uh, you download you assuming you have this already. You just simply cut it. I'll just copy it. To show you, and we go to the folder where we have installed our Blender. In my case, is in Editor Tools uh, Blender, and we open this. We go to Scripts. We go to Add-ons, and in Add-ons, we just paste it here. Right? Okay. I don't do it because I already have it installed. So uh, we we launch Blender, and we go to File. We go to user preferences and here you should have a tab add-on we can type md3 and here's our our, our add-on you got to make sure that this little click is on and save user settings so we have blender with our add-on now let's make a model real quick oh my god that doesn't that shouldn't happen so let's click tab just switch to edit mode we're not gonna make anything so in for simplicity's sake so we're gonna uh, just texture this box let's put you smart uv project okay now let's let's find a texture for this we switch to, to the UH image editor and let's open our texture for the model, which will be the next one we have here. It's called bricks. Now, this is an, an important thing. Uh, the textures, you should know this by now, but it should be by a power of two. You know, if not, it, they will not show. So, here's our ugly box with a texture on it and uh, it's uh, you you shouldn't do a model which has more than uh, a thousand polygons it won't work at least that's what the the creator of the add-on says so the other thing you should get in mind is that you have to triangulate the faces of the model if not uh, I don't know. I need. I don't need it without the triangulate, but that's another item that that the creator of the add-on says that we have to do. So we click Control T and automatically makes triangles triangles out of the the faces of our model. Uh, with this done, we only have to export it. My gosh, that was easy. Jesus. <laughs> now we have the model and go to you have to make sure you you have it selected right if you're doing a model more complex with multiple uh, groups you have to select all the groups and then go to file export md3 plus shaders I'm sorry I'm forgetting something before you export you have to do something to tell the uh, to tell Quake 3 engine that okay this box has a texture so we have to 
come here to the object tabs and we go scroll down and we will see something called um, custom properties we click add and here's the tricky part you have to put md3 md3 shader and in property value you have to put the root uh, of where would you where, where is the texture in my case it's models map object Tristan and the name of the texture which is I think bricks dot jpg this is very very important uh, now another thing uh, um, our friend here radiant won't see the textures unless they are in a pk3 folder uh, package or whatever so uh, I'm going to show you real quick uh, how do I have it uh, I have it in it's here I got a basically in your base folder you just have this uh, you should sh sh you should know this by now but here I got my pk3 already done it's very important that the texture that you're gonna use for the model is in this pk3 so in my case it's models map objects tristram and here I'm gonna put the texture So with the texture here, I can close this. I ha already told this guy. Well, this is MD3 shader, and it's in the root object Tristan uh, model map uh, models map object. Sorry, Tristan bricks dot jpg. We click OK. Now we have this. We have our model. We're going to export md3 plus shaders and another tricky part here is we have to choose a folder uh, we don't we're, we're not we're not gonna put the model into the pk3 we're just gonna put it in uh, in my case it's in yeah the academy base models map object tristan this is uh, this is the folder of the game actually i'm gonna go name this brick uh, two horrible dot mv3 and we will sport and we cross our fingers that's it our model is exported now let's check it let's see if we can see it on radiant Right click, misc, models, model. Now we're going to search it, map objects. We're going to search here from Tristram. And it was called bricks, something like that, right? So we search for brick. Brick 2. Open. And there's our model. Our horrible square model it's super super duper small and that is because the um, it's not right the, the the proportions are not right we're gonna just add the key value uh, this model scale and this just put like seven and this is how we scale our models and we have our model horrible simply the simplest of models but there we have it that's a model and and it's in it's in in radiant and therefore it should be in our game we gonna we wanna show you that just to show that it works let's put 
our horrible box here. I've been using hammer and I'm not I don't I'm not familiar. I, I, I've been practicing so much in hammer that to use radiant again is like weird. Uh, so map objects uh, and Tristram and we choose bricks model should be where are you brick brick two open and ah there you are and oh my gosh what I'm doing this is it's crazy. Oh, in my little model, there you are, and this is like that. No, it's not like that. Should be, should be up. And let's scale it up a little bit. Shift N or N, N, just N. Model scale seven. Enter. You should know this by now, but you you have to create a. Uh, this this box has no no collision model. So if I enter the game, hey, I will be able to go through it. So you have to make a brush this and make a collision model out of it. I'm going to, I really don't remember how to work with Radiant. It's been so long. But I think it was like this. Let's just put that and let's add a texture. Uh, this was like T, right? And clips, physics clips, right? I don't even remember how to apply a texture to the model. This is bad. There we go. Right? So now let's test this. So we're gonna build. Let's do this real quick. BSP light fast faster. I'm gonna compile. Sorry if I'm not very quick or clear, but it's been a long time since I don't use this editor. And I kinda lost the practice. So we're going to launch our game. Holy Jesus. OK, I'm kind of slow. It's look at the time. It's 6 in the morning. It's very early. Uh, and we're going to search for Star Wars. And this map, how was the name? I think it was Casita. Well, let's try. Let's launch multiplayer. And it was like, oh my gosh. Dev map. That's it in my case. In your case, it's your map, of course. Right. <laughs> kind of a stupid affirmation there. And we join our marble. There we have our box, our horrible brick box, and it has collision, so I cannot go through it. That's because I added that physics brush to it, so it has a collision. So I can shoot it. And it's there. Well, that's all. That's how to import a model from Blender to uh, to to Radiant, and therefore to Jedi Knight, Jedi Academy. In my case, in your case, it can be any any Quake Three engine game. Thanks so much for watching and if you found you found this helpful in any means or something or you like it or wherever please subscribe have a nice day